In Hong Kong, some analysts do not expect major shifts in Sino-British relations after the Labour Party took the home in the UK. As for the British National Overseas Visa Policy for Hong Kong residents, it's believed that the policy is here to stay because it can help the UK attract capital. Hong Kong resident Candy, who has lived in the UK for four years, voted for Labour in the general election. She was dissatisfied with the Conservative Party's inability to control inflation in recent years. Her monthly water bill has soared to 3,000 Hong Kong dollars. She hopes the new government will improve the economy and people's livelihood. But Candy said the Labour Party's immigration policy may pose uncertainties to aspiring migrants to the UK, as it stated that the overall level of migration should be managed so immigrants won't compete for resources with locals. And that affects some Hong Kong people who wish to emigrate to the UK, Candy said. While the Labour Party did not explicitly state in its manifesto whether it would continue the BNO visa policy, it said it will support Hong Kong people in the UK and provide the same pathways of protection for Ukrainian, Syrian and other asylum seekers. An analyst expects that after the Labour Party takes power, it will not change its policy direction on Hong Kong issues. Wilson Chan, the director of research of a consultancy company specializing in international political economy and foreign policy, said most Hong Kong immigrants don't have great financial difficulty and their immigration can bring capital to the UK. With that, Chan believes the Labour Party won't be entirely dismissive of the BNO visa policy. On relations with China, the Labour Party said, with the challenges and opportunities that China brings to the UK, it is expecting both cooperation and competition with China down the road. Chen said the European Union has proposed to impose additional tariffs on Chinese electric vehicles. While the Labour Party may consider following suit, the UK will likely seek cooperation with China as well on the matters related to global warming and global governance.